Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video lecture today I am going to discuss about why stirrup are used in beam and column construction. This topic is too much important and many students they were asking that what's the reason that we provide stirrups in beam and column construction. So therefore today I am discussing why stirrups are used in beam and column construction and also I will tell you in this video purpose of stirrup so let's get started but don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends so first of all i will define why we provide stirrups in beam and column so stirrup are provided to hold the main reinforcement rebars together in nrcc structure and stirrup are placed at the proper intervals to beam and column to prevent them from buckling suppose this is beam Okay, and we provide stirrups. Okay, so stirrup are provided to hold the main reinforcement. Okay, so in beam these two are main reinforcement. Okay, are main bars. Here also this is called main bars. Okay, and this is called what stirrups. Okay, so stirrups are provided to hold the main reinforcement rebars together in an RCC structure. So these are the main bar and beam and these are the stirrups, these, okay. So stirrup used to hold the main reinforcement rebar together in RCC structure. So these are, uh, therefore we use stirrups in RCC structure. Also, stirrups are placed at the proper intervals to beam and column to prevent them from buckling. So suppose this is suppose this is longitudinal bars and we provide stirrups and column so stirrup are placed at the proper intervals proper intervals means that we use stirrup uh, at uh, uh, the specific spacing okay so this is called at spacing center to center distance okay spacing so we provide the stirrup are we place the proper interval to the beam and column to prevent them from buckling so this is column when we don't provide the stirrup so this column can become it will become like this okay so this is called buckling okay now or stirrup are used to provide the stability to reinforcement of steel bars when we provide the stirrups and column in beam so it provide the stability now purpose of stirrups okay so it increase the compressive strength of column how it increase the compressive strength of column so this is column when the load comes on this column so it want to share this column okay so therefore when we provide these stirrups okay so it increase the compressive strength of the column to hold the longitudinal bars during construction so these are longitudinal bars okay in column okay so stirrups hold the longitudinal bars so these are called longitudinal bars this one is also longitudinal bar okay so to hold longitudinal bars during construction and the other one it increase the strength of beam and column how it increase the strength of beam and column remember if we don't provide the stirrups and column and beam so first of all it can't be held okay the steel cannot be held together in our cc structure so when we provide stirrups and column and beam so it increase the strength of beam and column other to resist the shear force everybody know that we use stirrups to resist the shear force purpose of stirrups and also i defined that why we use stirrups in beam and column if you need the article about this video the link is in the description of this video or just visit to my website www.sewerstudents.com but remember don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye